Welcome back everyone. In this video, we're going to talk about the walrus operator. The what? That's right. The walrus operator. It's a funny name and it gets it from the syntax. It's colon equal. And if you look at it, like if you like cock your head sideways, it kind of looks like a walrus. It's got the little eyes and the tusk and everything. But that's where it gets its name. This is a little bit confusing and this might hurt your brain a little bit. And to make it even more complex, you have to have the right version. This isn't available in Python until Python 3.8 or higher. But what the walrus operator allows us to do is assign a variable from an expression, meaning we're going to take some chunk of code and turn the end result of that code into a variable without having to do a whole lot of complex stuff. In case you're wondering about versioning, remember if you pull up a terminal and there's different ways of doing this, you can see down in the corner I'm using Python 369, there are different versions installed. So for example, if I type Python, that's 2.7. Hmm. If I type Python 3, my system's at 3.6.9. So that's not going to work. I would have to do 3.8. I have 3.86. Just use whatever you have. If you don't have 3.8 or higher installed, this will not work. And you'll have to go out to Python's website and download and install and configure Python 3.8 or higher. Follow the instructions for your operating system. Google's your best friend if you have a problem or you can visit me in the Void Realms Facebook group. There's details at the end of this video. For our purposes here, we're just gonna go down here and we're going to select Python 3 and then select the correct workspace, which should be Python 3.8 or higher. And suddenly everything starts popping up and saying, do you want to install this? Do you want to install that? I'm not going to do any of that for this video. I'm going to apologize if it keeps popping up though. Let's dive in. Let's look at some common issues. And I put the parentheses here for a reason, because that's going to be your biggest issue when working with the walrus operator. For example, if I say Y and then walrus, I'm just going to say walrus, len of hello. What do you think we're doing here? Well, let's try and print Y out. Uh-oh, I get no graphical error in the IDE because, well, there's really no PyLinter installed. I can install Kite or something else like that, but I just wanted to switch versions and see this thing work, and it's saying syntax error, invalid syntax. What do you mean invalid syntax? I'm using the walrus operator and I've got the right version of Python. Hmm, this is what I'm talking about. Let's just grab this guy right here and let's just put that same thing inside of parentheses here. And I'm gonna put some notes at the end here just for anybody who downloads the code so they know what's going on. And let's comment this bad boy out. Put that at the end there, didn't I? There we go. And let's rerun this. Now suddenly we get the output, len5. It's valid, but according to Python's website, it's not recommended. Why? Because it's just confusing to look at. What is going on here? It's almost like we're calling a function. Remember, in programming and in math, anything inside of the parentheses is pretty much done first. So what we're really telling Python is, as you're reading this, stop what you're doing, Crunch all this stuff between these parentheses and then replace all that parentheses with the value, which is five. So it's just going to really make a variable called five. Seems confusing. And it is nine times out of 10. That's going to be your biggest issue is just you forget to put something in the parentheses. So let's go ahead and look at another real world example here. I'm going to say people equals and we're going to make a list of people. So me, my wife, and the family dog. Big old stinky, dumb dog. He's probably down there wanting a treat right now, but he's not getting one because I'm up here making a video. Poor dog. So I'm going to say if and walrus len, and we're going to just get the length of that variable right there. And I want to just say less than or equal to three. Then go ahead and print it out. We're going to print out n. A little confusing, but what's going on here? I'm saying n is 
walrus or equal to this expression, the length of people, which in this case should be three because I have three elements. We're saying if it's less than or equal to three, go ahead and print it out. But when we run this, we have been betrayed. It actually says two. What? Come on. Why is it true? Why? Because we forgot the parentheses. Let's just take the same thing and let's just go ahead and wrap it in parentheses here. Rerun it, and sure enough, we get three. So nine times out of 10, if you have a problem with the walrus operator, it's because you're missing your parentheses. I am not a fan of introducing new concepts without some sort of example. So let's make this super short, but super confusing because the walrus operator is confusing. All right, so I'm gonna say lines equals, and we're just gonna make a list. And we're going to use a function called can add with a maximum of five, that's the default, which is going to determine whether or not we can add to that list. And we're gonna say, hmm, global lines. I don't like doing this because what we're saying is now we can modify this, but I want to make sure Python knows we want this list. We're not creating some new variable. That gets a little bit cumbersome. Not a fan doing that. When in doubt, you should actually send it as a parameter slash argument. Let's work with the walrus operator. Let's unleash our inner walrus. I'm going to say allowed equals, and notice how allowed's not defined. So what we're doing is we're letting the walrus operator define this variable. So if you're worried you're gonna get an undefined error, don't worry, it's not gonna happen. But whenever you see walrus think the walrus needs to open his mouth, you should see these parentheses. If you don't, you're gonna have a bad time. Let's go ahead and say, this is going to be the count, and again, walrus operator, so we need some sort of parentheses. But we're gonna use a function, len, we're just gonna get the length of those lines. Now we're gonna say we want the max, and that looks really crazy and confusing, but what are we doing here? We're creating one, two variables, and we're saying allowed is going to be this code expression here. Oops, if I, my mouse ever wants to cooperate. This code expression here, and count is going to be this code expression here. Whenever you see these parentheses, you are working with some sort of expression or scope, but usually both. Let's go ahead and print. And we're gonna say, F, you can enter, and we want the max, minus the count, more. So we want to tell the user in real time how many more they can actually enter. We're going to drop back down and say return and we're going to just return whether or not this was even allowed. That looks super confusing, but the whole point of the walrus operator is we've reduced code. We now have a variable that got assigned an expression. We didn't have to say something like allowed equals something, 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 and then put the allowed in the if. It just automatically does all of it for us. To further make this confusing, let's do something that I see people doing all the time. We're going to say while, and then a function is going to return a bool, and we're just going to loop until that function says we can't do it anymore. Say lines, go ahead and append that. And we're going to make another variable called L, and we're going to get the input from the user. Whoa, that's crazy. All right, so we are making yet a third variable here. And let's go ahead and just print out that we're done. Okay, highlight the walrus operator. You can see just in our little example here, we are creating one, two, three variables. Whenever you see walrus, think immediately to the left is what we're creating. Immediately to the right, whatever's in the walrus's mouth, is what we're using to create it. Kind of crazy. So if allowed and the count less the max, then we're going to go ahead and get the max minus the count, blah, blah, blah. That gets super confusing. We're going to return a bool. We're going to use that bool. And then we're going to get this value from the input all in one line. 
really, really reduces our code, but it also makes it a little bit harder to read. So I'm gonna say, we're just gonna enter some stuff. One, we can enter four more, three more, two more, one more, and boom, you entered and it gives us our nice, neat little list. Major takeaway here, Walrus operator is super convenient, but can be super, super confusing. Whenever you see the walrus operator, think immediately under the tusk, you need the mouth, which are these parentheses, and then whatever's in the parentheses is going to get assigned to the variable because you're really taking an expression and putting it into a variable. You also need Python 3.8 or higher, or you're going to get a whole lot of crazy errors because earlier versions of Python have no idea what you're talking about. That, in a nutshell, is the walrus operator. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can find the source code out on github.com. If you need additional help, myself and thousands of other developers are hanging out in the Void Realms Facebook group. This is a large group with lots of developers, and we talk about everything technology related, not just the technology that you just watched. And if you want official training, I do develop courses out on udemy.com. This is official classroom style training. If you go out there and the course you're looking for is just simply not there, drop me a note. I'm either working on it or I will actually develop it. I will put a link down below for all three of those. And as always, help me help you. Smash that like and subscribe button. The more popular these videos become, the more I'll create and publish out on YouTube. Thank you for watching.